surf by the time the bar closes and you feel like falling down I'll carry you home tonight Excuse me, is this seat taken? Excuse me? Is this seat taken? Yes, it is. Oh, sorry. Sure thing. Excuse me, is this seat taken? Excuse me? Is this seat taken? No, but I'm expecting someone in a minute. Oh, sorry. Sure thing. Is this seat taken? No, but I'm expecting someone very shortly. Oh. Well, uh, would you mind if I sat here until he or she or it comes back? Well, they do seem to be pretty late. Well, uh, you never know who you might be turning down. Sorry. Nice try, though. Yeah, sure thing. <laughs> Excuse me, is this seat taken? No, it's not. Would you mind if I sat here? Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is this seat taken? No, it's not. Would you mind if I sat here? Mm, go ahead. Thanks. <laughs> Seems that uh, every other table's taken. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice place. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, what's the book? I just wanted to read in quiet, if you don't mind. No. Sure thing. <laughs> it seems every other table's taken. Mm-hmm. It's a great place for learning. Yes, or I like to read here. Uh, what's the book? The Sound of Fury. Oh, Hemingway. Uh, what's the book? The Sound of Fury. Oh, Faulkner. <laughs> Have you read it? Not, not exactly. I, not. I mean, I've read about it, but not like the actual <laughs> thing. Um, I hear it's great. <laughs> it is great. Yeah, I hear, I hear it's great. <clears throat> Waiter! Well, what's the book? The Sound of the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Have you read it? I'm a Mets fan myself! Have you read it? Yeah, I read it in college. Where was college? I went to uh, Oral, um, Oral Roberts University. Where was college? <laughs> uh, I lied. I, I don't actually go to college. I just like to party. Where was college? Harvard. Do you like Faulkner? Uh, I love Faulkner. I spent the whole winter reading him once. I just started. Uh, he's incredible. I mean, I, I like, okay. After like 10 pages, I, I went out and bought everything else that he wrote. One of the greatest reading experiences of my entire life. I mean, all that psychological understanding and, and, and the prose is so gorgeous. I mean, just his grasp of time and human existence, the smells of the earth, and... Um, what do you think? What, what do you think? I think he's pretty boring. <laughs> What's the book? The Sound of the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. You like Faulkner? I, I love Faulkner. He's incredible. I spent the whole winter reading him once. I was so excited after the first ten pages that I went out and bought everything else that he wrote. And, and all that uh, psychological understanding? And the prose? It's so gorgeous. I, I mean, just his grasp of time. And human existence? Yes! I can't believe I waited this long to read it. Well, you never know. You may have not liked it before. That's true. Yeah, it's one of those things that you gotta get at like the right moment, otherwise it just doesn't work. 
That's happened to me. Yeah, it's all the time. <laughs> I'm Bill, by the way. Betty. Hi. Hi. So, uh, yeah, I thought, I thought Faulkner was a uh, great experience. Yeah? <laughs> the spirit <laughs> the theory. Well, onwards and upwards. Where? It's one of those things that you gotta hit at like the right moment. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. That's happening. Yeah, it's uh, all in the time. I I'm Bill, by the way. Betty. Hi. Hi. So, uh, do you come here often? Actually, I'm only in town for two days from Chile. Oh. <laughs> Chile. Uh, uh, so, do you come here often? Every other day, I guess. Do you? <laughs> no. Not so much, but I mean, like, not as much as I used to, um, not since my <laughs> nervous breakdown. <laughs> so, uh, do you come here often? Why are you asking? Just interested? Are you really interested, or are you just trying to pick me up? <clears throat> no, I'm really interested. Why would you be interested in whether I come in here a lot? Just... Getting acquainted? Maybe you're only interested for the sake of making small talk long enough to ask me back to your place to catch some great show, check out your vinyl collection, listen to some unknown Django Reinhardt recording, when really all you want to do is fall, which you won't do very well. <laughs> Afterwards, you're going to go in the bathroom and you're going to pee very loud. Next to me, confess to me that you've got a girlfriend named Stephanie who's away at medical school in Belgium for a year and that you've been involved with her off and on in what you call a very intricate relationship for the past seven years. None of which interests me, mister. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, do you come here often? Every other day, I guess. Here quite a lot, and I don't remember seeing her. Must be on different schedules. Misconnections. Different time zones. It's amazing that you can live right next door to somebody in this town and not even know they exist. I know. City life. It's crazy. Well, uh, the waiters here sure seem to be in a different time zone and can't seem to locate one. Waiter! Hmm. So, uh, do you... Can I beg your pardon? Uh, nothing. Never mind. We must be on different schedules. Misconnections. Different time zones. It's amazing that you can live right next door to somebody in this town and not even know they exist. I know! City life. It's crazy. Uh, oh, um, you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? Actually, I was. Oh. Boyfriend? Sort of. What's a sort of boyfriend? My husband. <laughs> oh. Uh, you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? Actually, I was. Oh. Boyfriend? Sort of. What's a sort of boyfriend? We were meeting here to break up. So you are available. <laughs> What's a sort of boyfriend? My lover. And here she comes right now. <laughs> <laughs> you were waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? No, just reading. Kind of a sad occupation, don't you think? Just you know, reading here all by yourself? Do you think so? Well. Yeah, I mean, what's a good-looking woman like you doing alone on a Friday night anyway? Trying to avoid a line like that. Oh, well, you know, I, um, you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? No, just reading. Kind of a sad occupation, don't you think? Just reading all by yourself? Yes, it is, in a way. Well, what's a good-looking woman like you doing alone on a Friday night anyway? Uh, no offense. 
actually, I'm out alone on a Friday night for the first time in a long time. Oh. See, I um, I recently ended a relationship. Oh. A rather long standing. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was it? Um, since being here alone by yourself reading on a Friday night is kind of a sad occupation anyway, um, would you maybe like to go elsewhere? No. Maybe do something else? I don't think so. I was headed to the movies in a little while. No thanks. Might be a good chance to let Faulkner catch his breath. I don't think so. Okay. I appreciate the invitation. No, sure thing. Uh, you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? No, just waiting. Kind of a sad occupation, don't you think? Just waiting all by yourself? I was trying to think of it as existentially romantic, you know? Cappuccino, great literature, rainy night. It only works in Paris. Although, we could take the next flight to Paris, maybe stroll to the bank, find a cafe. I'm a little short on plane fare tonight. Don it so But actually, I was heading to the movies when I finished this session, if you'd like to come along. Uh, Dude, you can't locate a waiter. Well, um, that, that's a very nice offer, but... Uh-huh. Uh, Girlfriend? Two of them, actually. <laughs> <laughs> One of them's pregnant, and... <laughs> <laughs> girlfriend? I... I don't have a girlfriend. Well, I mean, not unless you're talking about that castrating bitch that I dumped last night. Girlfriend? Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> What's a sort of girlfriend? My mother. <laughs> Actually, I kind of just ended a relationship oh. of, uh, of a rather long season. I'm sorry to hear it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit to be honest. So you didn't just stop to talk because you're a Wiccan or have some sort of weird political affiliation? No. Straight down the ticket, Republican. Straight down the ticket, Democrat. Can, can I talk to you about politics? I like to consider myself a citizen of the universe. I am unaffiliated? That's really so am I. <laughs> I vote my beliefs. Labels are not important. Labels are not important, exactly. Um, take me, for example. So what if I got a 2.0 economy? A 3.0 economy? 4.0 at college. And so what if I came from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? Cleveland, Ohio. Westchester County. Sure. <laughs> I believe that a man is what he is. I believe a person is what he is. I believe a person is what they are. I think so too. <laughs> and so what if I admire Trotsky? So what if I had a total body liposuction? So what if I don't have a penis? So what if I once spent a year at the Peace Corps? I was acting on my own conviction. Sure. You just can't hang a sign on somebody. Absolutely. <laughs> I bet you're a Scorpio. <laughs> So, um, I was headed to the movies after I finished this section, if you'd like to come along. That sounds like fun. What's playing? Uh, some of the really early Woody Allen movies. Oh. You don't like Woody Allen? No. No, no, no. I, I like Woody Allen. But well, you're not crazy about Woody Allen. <laughs> some of those early ones kind of get on my nerves. Uh-huh. So, so I was... Have... Uh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. <clears throat> I was gonna say I was headed to the movies in a little while. So was I. The Woody Allen Festival? Just up the street. Do you <coughs> like the early ones? I think anyone who doesn't wants to be run off the planet. How many times have you seen Bananas? 17. 22. No. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, you still wanna go? Do you like Intimate's Crumb Cake? Intimate's Crumb Cake. I got up at 2 last night just mm -hmm. to go get one. Did you have a just sketch as a child? Yes. And do you like Brussels sprouts? <laughs> no. 
No, I think they're disgusting. They are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something. Do you believe in marriage in spite of current sentiments against it? Yes. And children? Three of them. Two girls and a boy? Harvard, Vassar, and Brown. <laughs> and will you love me? Yes. And cherish me forever? Yes. You still haven't gone to the movies? Sure thing. Waiter! <laughs>